My name is Avril, uh, married to Vaughn, and we've been fostering for 30 years, but in, in the time that we've fostered, we've adopted two of the children that we cared for. And um, we especially like um, fostering children with disabilities, so we've ended up with quite a little family. Well, Dominic was a very tiny baby when we first met him. He was very much loved member of our family for a couple of years, getting stronger and stronger and getting ready to have some heart surgery. Um, and when it was nearly time for the heart surgery, we felt, you know, one of our other adopted sons came up to us and said, Mum, we can't let him go, can we adopt Dominic as well? So, so that's what we decided we would do, didn't we? Yes, we did. <laughs> that was quite an exciting thing to do, wasn't it? Quite an exciting experience, you mean, Mum? Yes, it was. It's very difficult for local authorities to find um, permanent homes for children with disabilities and we we feel that there's a real sort of um, need to find people who can um, cope with a disability and those children bring an immense amount of joy to families and you know they're, they're almost looked over but but actually people are capable of doing it and they they need to be sort of aware of what's what they can do and what's there to help them achieve that adoption. Well, he's the most delightful little character ever, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and um, he's an inspiration to a lot of people we've, we've found. that he, he changes the, the atmosphere in a room and every morning we wake up and, you know, he tells us he loves us and it's, it, it, it's just lovely. Virtually every child that comes into care has got a sad story of abuse, neglect or something else behind them. I think it's really important that adoptive parents are open about what's happened to their, their children before they came to them. Children naturally will ask questions, where did I come from, why did that happen? And Dominic will ask, why did my mummy um, not look after me properly? And I have to explain to him what happened and why it was necessary for him not to stay with his mum because on, quite honestly he knows he wouldn't have survived if he'd stayed there and and that's a sad fact but if he if we hid it from him that would be unnatural and wrong because he wouldn't then know why he came into care in the first place we have been through the process twice and it is hard and difficult but having had birth children as well um, I would say it was probably on an equal setting of difficulties. I suppose the second time it was a little bit harder because we were a little bit older and I think we felt that we would probably not be able to adopt if we were in our 50s but that proved not to be the case and um, the, the social services at the time seemed to feel that it was the right thing for Dominic to be adopted by us who he knew and he loved and was a well-loved member of our family so it was absolutely the right thing to do. In our um, fostering career we fostered many children from different races and um, we've we've enjoyed and learned so much and yet these children have, have sort of been in care for so long because they've been found a, an appropriate placement but now I think it's changing and people are, are actually being able to adopt the children that they've perhaps fostered or they know and um, and the children can be placed with different race families and to be able to turn around and say I've actually changed that person's life and the course that that would take for the better um, it's really, really very rewarding. But to see Dominic, who was so close to death, being like he is now is, you know, well, what else could you ask for? You know, it's, it's wonderful. You can ask for anything else. <laughs>